Welcome to another DK Custom Products video. My name is Kevin and today we're going to talk about how to install an oil cooler and an oil filter relocation on your soft tail or dyna that has ABS brakes. So we're going to look at today is a 2012 soft tail that has ABS brakes on it. But before we get started, if you can please like, comment, and subscribe to this video, we'd appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. So why are we talking about bikes with ABS? The reason why is because up until the M8s, which got introduced in 2017 for the touring models and 2018 for the soft tails, up until then, when Harley put ABS on a bike, the ABS is right here. It's there's your regulator and here's your ABS. So all this space right here is taken up on the ABS bikes. Bikes with no ABS, all the touring models come with a cooler already there. Some of the soft tails come with a cooler already there. Most of the dynas don't, but all the twin cams need an oil cooler. That's why Harley puts them on the bikes that they can put them on. And so to get your oil cooled down to where it should be, you need an oil cooler. But if you have ABS, there's no space to put the oil cooler in the traditional location. And a lot of people like to have an oil filter relocation. We come over here and look at this. Like to have an oil filter relocation because it makes removing the oil filter, changing it, much, much easier, not a mess. Instead of having the oil filter way up in here, it's right here. You put a drain pan right here and it's really easy. So people ask, how can I do an oil filter relocation and an oil cooler on a, a bike that has ABS on it? You can see really simply, we have an oil filter on this side and we have an oil cooler on this side. That's the way I did it on this bike. We have many customers who have been able to fit the oil cooler right here and see this can go even lower and the oil filter relocation down lower. So there is room here to have the oil cooler and the oil filter relocation on the same side. I just like the ease and the look of having the oil filter relocation on this side and then the oil cooler over on this side. You do want to check fitment to make sure that your oil cooler can fit over here with room for the exhaust. And people ask, oh, if the oil cooler is so close to the exhaust, is that going to make it ineffective? And that has not been my experience. The oil on this bike, since I put the oil cooler on, runs 15 to 20 degrees cooler with that oil cooler right here next to the exhaust. So there are a few options. Number one, you don't have to do an oil filter relocation. You can just do an oil cooler. If you have ABS, you can just put, I would put the oil cooler on the left side, leave the oil filter where it is. I just prefer to have the oil filter relocation and the oil cooler makes changing the oil easier also, with that oil filter out in the wind, it adds a little bit of a cooling effect to the oil also. And you don't have to do uh, an adapter on the engine because the oil comes out of the engine in through the oil filter over to the oil cooler and then back uh, into the engine. And so you don't need to have that big thick adapter that you put on there when you put a oil cooler on there. The other thing is if you don't if you don't have an ABS bike and you just want an oil cooler, do the low mount oil cooler down low. The oil coolers out on the side do work a little bit better. They're more in the wind than those down there, but some people prefer that look. It's just not possible with an ABS bike. We will put up in the corner here videos we've done on why it's so important to have an oil cooler and what the benefits are of an oil filter relocation. Those will both be up in the corner there, um, videos on those subjects. 
but just wanted to show you that it is possible to have an oil cooler and an oil filter relocation on a bike that is equipped with ABS. There is room for both of them, one on one side, one on the other, or you can put both of them on the same side. And some of you may already have an oil filter relocation and not an oil cooler and you want to add an oil cooler. We have an auxiliary oil cooler. We'll put it in the a link to it in the description down below that you can add to the bike that doesn't come with any of the superfluous things you don't need when you already have an oil filter relocation and you, it just bolts up and plumbs right into the existing plumbing that's already there for the oil filter relocation. If you have any questions about fitment or any questions about the setup in general, shoot an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com or leave a comment below. Y'all ride safe out there.